Hello everyone and welcome to another battle report from my channel. Today we have a Kings of War battle report and we're up to battle report 29. Um, this is a 2500 point game. This is versus dwarves versus elves. And the scenario we rolled up was invade. So this is the same dwarf list as the last time but I'll go over it quick. Uh, I have a regiment of berserkers with brew of strength. Two regiments of iron guard with throwing dogs and the two handed weapon option. Two troops of ironclad, two troops of rangers, two hordes of earth elementals, uh, one with vicious and one with elite. And I'll make a mention the the elite is the painted uh, horde, while the vicious is the s very in progress. Uh, so sorry about that, but I'm, I'm working on them. They'll be they'll be done probably this week. Um, I have a ranger captain with the wings of honey maze, a standard bear with nothing, a berserker lord. Apparently I pelted a lord a, uh, with a mount, uh, mounts him on a brock, which gives him movement eight and vicious, and the blade of beast slaying, so he's kitted out to kill monsters. Uh, two stone priests, both of them took a bane chant upgrade, two greater earth elementals, and two organ guns. So this is an opponent I haven't um, put on a battle report before, but he's a guy I have played, and take a note that he did have to um, proxy a little bit, kind of, um, to get up to 2,500 points, I was asking people to play 2,500 points, 2,500 points because I'm going to Adepticon. So anyway, uh, his list is as follows. I didn't get it, so this is the best of my ability. One regiment of palace guard, one horde of forest shamblers, one horde of Thurinian sea guard with the um, brew of keen Agnes, I think it is, but plus one range attack. One or two regiment of glade stalkers. One troop of hunters of the wild, one regiment of stormwind cavalry, two troops of sea breeze cavalry, um, one mage, bane chant, inspiring chant, talisman, uh, one army standard bear with a boomstick, a tree herder, three bolt floors, bolt throwers, excuse me, and Argus Rodinar. So if you don't know what Argus Rodinar is, um, it's essentially just a, a hero that can't move or attack, and he uh, gives one unit on the board inspiring every turn. Well, every it's a spell. So he, he inspires one unit every turn. You just pick which one it is over the course of that turn, for all intents and purposes. So, um, yeah. That's, that's that. So we'll get into deployment. Um, from right to left again, you'll, you'll notice you'll recognize some of these models because the guy I just played, let him borrow some models. So, Tree Herder, Forest Shamblers. Um, that Archer unit there is a the Glade Stalkers. Bolt Thrower. Um, those guys there are representing the Horde of Seaguard. Uh, Seabreeze Cavalry. Um, Glade Stalker Regiment. Seabreeze Cavalry. Uh, on the hill we have Palace Guard, Bolt Thrower, Bolt Thrower, Army Standard Bearer. Uh, then we have Hunters of the Wild and the Stormwind Cavalry with the, the Brew of Strength. Yeah, I think I got all those right. So for me, from right to left, I have Rangers. And hiding behind the Rangers are the uh, Berserkers. And then I have Rangers and Two regiments of ironclad in front of the two, or two troops of ironclad in front of the two regiments of iron guard. I'm screening them. Sorry about the blurry picture, but it's the only one that really caught this. Um, I put my organ guns right out in the middle. Um, I know my organ guns aren't in range turn one, but I can walk them up and get them in range to something. I, I So, I mean, at least I can make him do something about them. It, it was my hope. Uh, and then finishing out my flank, I have Greater Earth Elemental, Greater Earth Elemental, Vicious Earth Elementals. You'll notice they are very unpainted <laughs> and unfinished because they're, they're being constructed. Horde of Earth Elementals. Uh, behind those guys is a distribution of two stone priests. And then way, way on the side, I have my Berserker Lord on Brock. So we get into Vanguards really quick since we actually both have Vanguards. Um, so he moves up like such. Uh, and then these guys move up, and his hunters move up into the woods. 
and then you can see in the inverse you can see my vanguard so both of my rangers moved up some and my ranger captain flew up again some um the, the intention to get the bolt thrower so uh, just real quick on why i, I kind of set up like i did I, I i know this guy plays a lot of shooting um i knew he would have a lot of shooting so i'm just kind of attempting to disrupt that shooting as much as i can and screen myself as i walk forward with my clump of dwarves um, on the far side i think those elementals can can handle themselves pretty well especially with the with the berserker over there so just hoping to get some of my dwarves across the board and most of my elementals uh, so we go to turn one and fortunately for me turn one goes to the dwarves so i moved up as such um, these guys all just move up their five my organ guns um, didn't actually move up because he moved up with some of his stuff and actually came into range. So my organ gun sits still. Uh, my dwarves move up um, their fullest. The rangers, I think, sit still. Uh, a couple things here. These guys didn't actually move. Uh, and the one thing I don't have to show, you'll see it later, but my, my ranger captain charged one of the um, uh, bolt throwers on the hill. Um, so we get some surge. And, and we start an incredibly, incredibly lucky first turn for the dwarves. So um, he had moved these guys up into range of the Oregon guns, so they got deleted. Probably, you know, just a little mistake. It happens. But, so that's good. My rangers are in range. My <laughs> rangers are in range to shoot this bolt thrower. So I put two points of damage onto him. Not a lot, but I roll high enough twice to route him. So that's that's pretty huge. Uh, my other rangers, even though at their minus one, they shoot at this troop of um, forest hunt hunters of the wild and rout them. Again, just rolled really well. And then my ranger captain, as you can see here, came up. And he didn't rout this guy, but he did do damage. So I've taken off a bolt thrower, uh, some archers. There you go. Here we'll go to over you. I've taken off the bolt throwers, some archers, those hunters of the wild. Um... Yeah, it was really, really good and stopped the other bolt thrower from shooting. So he's one bolt thrower that can shoot left. And I'm actually feeling pretty good. So it was really good to get turn one. Uh, let's see what the other side looks like. So we're going to elves turn one. Elves turn one. His tree herder and forest shamblers double charge my right um, earth elementals. His um, sea breeze move up a little bit. Both of them to get into. Well, I guess just to move up. He's staying out of range of me, and his cavalry comes over like this and sits a little bit in the woods. Oh, and on the hill, his um, palace guard charged my uh, army, all right, my ranger captain. It's just, obviously, they don't sit up there, so we just have a dice there. But yeah, the palace guard are beating up the ranger captain. Bane Chant, he Bane Chant's his sea guard horde here. Um, and shooting... Uh, these orders are getting a little cover, so he doesn't do very well against this unit. He puts his other bolt thrower in his horde of Bane Chanted plus one to hit um, Sea Garden to these guys and to this guy, and actually doesn't do very well. He His one bolt thrower gets to shoot quite a bit. It just does nothing. It just, it's just really unlucky. So That elemental's fine, obviously. So we go into combat, and he does three points of damage to my ranger captain and wavers him. Um, over here, he does five points of damage to these elementals, and they're fine. So just a couple overview shots. You can see, you can see. So dwarves trudging forward. Turn two. Um, turn two, I pass my headstrong with my ranger captain, which is awesome. Over here, since he didn't break these guys, uh, my vicious, vicious earth elementals flank his forest shamblers. And then my earth elemental and... Berserker Lord, um, double charge the uh, the uh, tree herder there, and everyone else just kind of moves up. You can see dwarves are crossing the fence, uh, and on the other side, those guys move up their fullest. The rangers do, and then those rangers just sit still. I think. So into shooting, um, my organ guns. All the yeah, I had fully intention of moving them up. Didn't have to move up because he moved up, so I could shoot him. So my organ guns eat up these guys. Uh, in combat, we do six points of damage to the tree herder, so he's fine. 
Um, these guys in the flank, though, do pretty good. They get 12 points of damage on these forest shamblers and route them. So that's not a good position for my for my opponent at all. Um, and oh, we have one more. This is just kind of an overview, but and our friend was like, "Oh yeah, we better do this combat." So uh, the ranger captain beats up the um, the yeah, bolter and routes it and overruns and doesn't get out of. He's not out of line of sight of those those uh, palace guards, so they're still going to be able to beat him up. But he got rid of the bolter, so that's awesome. Um, that is just an overview on that side, I guess. So, uh, elves turn two. Um, not a lot of moving, honestly. Oh, you can see there on the left, he charges his, um, he charges my rangers. And yeah, you can see that there again. And he backs up his, um, sea guard, or sea, silver breeze cavalry a little bit, um, just to make sure they're out of range of charges this turn. Bane chance these guys again. Um, shooting, he gets dumps most of his shooting into these guys and does about seven points of damage being a dwarf is great uh, and he wavers them uh, he gets about four more points yeah about seven points of damage on this um ranger captain and he routes them but that's okay it's not a great point trade but it's a pretty good utility trade so they end up like that uh history herder went back into my earth elementals and did not do enough so they're fine um, not surprisingly, even though they were a hindered charge, his um, storm and cavalry take care of my rangers pretty good and overrun pretty far. So, that's what it looks like at the end of Elves 2. And that's what the other side looks like. So, turn 3. Uh, turn 3, I feel my head strong. Um, over here, we triple charge his tree herder. So, one in the front. Um, well, the Berserker's in the flank, but it doesn't matter. And the other Elemental's in the flank. So, he's, he's got a lot of a lot of pressure on him there. I put my, um... I push both of my Elemental... Greater Earth Elementals up towards his other units. Um, put one of them in the tree, honestly, just for a little bit of cover. But anyway. So, they move up. Um, I finally move my organ guns this turn because they didn't have anything to see so one of them goes forward and one of them goes forward and pivots um yeah so my 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 um ironclad troop there runs up just to stand right in front because he couldn't charge but he could march up there and, and get in their face um on the other side I, I just separate out my guys a little bit approaching um i should have been a little more aggressive with my berserkers because my berserker can take a charge from that palace guard no problem but I was being a little, a little uh, reservist with them. So the Rangers can shoot, but I should have really pushed them harder. Um, some double surge. Well, not double surge. I guess single surge twice. Uh, pushes these guys up. Uh, that's about all the shooting I accomplished. Um, over here we do. Yeah, they do pretty good. Now um, they smack up giant tree man pretty good, and he's gone. Reform like that. So that's what it looks like after. Door of turn three. Just another shot of door of turn three for fun. Elves turn three. So, um, he just, I think he just moves his flagger a little bit. Yeah. He doesn't really move much else. He's just hoping to shoot. Oh, he did move the cavalry. You can see him at the bottom. They reformed and moved towards my organ gun. That's about it. Shooting again. Um, I think he failed his Bane Chant, which didn't help. So, a little bit of damage on these guys, nothing special. And here, yeah, this high defense dwarves are hard to shoot at. So, he shoots at him, but he just wavers them. Uh, and over here, he, I think he has a boomstick on his flagger, and so he shoots him and wavers those guys. Um, so, that's what the board looks like. Dwarves coming in. Uh, a little bit of a problem, obviously, on my backside with those cavalry, but, you know. It happens. So I'm just the other side. So moving to turn four. Um, turn four, I pass my headstrong with these guys, so that's awesome. I pass my headstrong with these guys, so that's awesome. Um, the elementals are just moving up as fast as I can, which is five inches. Um, you can see here the dwarves cross the fence. Now that they can all get across the fence. Um, there's a double charge of, or not the double charge. Um, both of those earth 
Greater Earth Elementals charge their respective targets. The one on the right charges the Bolt Thrower, and the other one charges that Horde of Seaguard. Um, not that the Horde of Seaguard are any more deadly in combat as opposed to shooting with this item on them, but you might as well do something. And you don't need two Earth Elementals to kill a Bolt Thrower. Uh, these Ironclad on the left charge the Cavalry. And, yeah, and here I, I moved the, um... I moved the berserkers up, but I didn't, I didn't move him up enough. Like I moved him up so he could just charge me, because he could charge farther than I can, because he's an elf. But what I should have done is, is just ran him all the way up, so he didn't have an option, because I left him an option to back up, and I didn't need to give him that. Um, shooting the organ gun does okay, but not enough to uh, preserve its own life. The other organ gun, since it moved up, was now in range of these guys, and you know, it's pretty good damage, but nothing spectacular. And the rangers shoot at these guys, because why not? And they're fine. Um, and we get a little surge off. Just pushing those elementals forward, because they're kind of slow. In combat, the greater earth elemental smacks down the bolt thrower, no problem. Um, this greater earth elemental does a few points of damage. It's not really what he's built for, I guess. From He doesn't have that many attacks. Um, these guys, ironclad, waver the silver breeze cavalry. And that's what it's it. Doors turn four looks like this and like this. So elves turn five. The only yeah, I'll show you the movement. I, I kind of figured it failed to take pictures because he hardly moved at all. Um, at the bottom, his his cavalry charged my organ gun and his uh, palace guard moved back a little bit. So shooting, and he wavers that front troop, which is you know just annoying. Um, he did get a bane chant off. On his sea guard here, and they actually kill um, kill my greater earth elemental. He was out of inspiring range, kind of a mistake. But um, yeah, he, he rolled a lot of fives and sixes. Um, and ignore those dice; he just didn't roll double ones. So he, of course, routed that thing, and he reformed like such. So there's that. Oh yeah, he reformed yeah to face my other Greater Earth Elemental and not take it in the flank. Um, and you can see his palace guard there. That's dice is where they actually are. They backed up a little bit. So turn five. Um, turn five, I film a headstrong roll for dwarves. Um, over here we have the Greater Earth Elemental and the Berserker Lord charging those sea guard. On uh, the other elementals are just moving up. On this side, um, Iron Guard are kind of blocked up there. Um, the mistake I make is I don't turn them around. They could have about faced. Um, and I didn't really need them facing forward. They were, I think they were in scoring already. So, eh, just a mistake. So now they're going to, you know, that's not good. Uh, sorry for the blurry picture over here. Um, but my ironclad go back in. The other iron guard kind of move around. And then now I finally realize I really need to force this issue. So I shove my... Berserker's way up. Um, shooting. That organ gun takes care of his archers, no problem. A little bit of surge. Um, these this, these guys are not that far away from those um, sea guards, so that's that's why I'm that, that front unit there, because trying to surge it up. On combat, you know, they do a few points of damage, but nothing special. I think these guys do like one point of damage, if any. Not a lot. Uh, and that's what it looks like. Yep. And door five. So we move into L's five, and he finally charges my berserkers, as as you would expect. Um, I think he charges my iron clad there with those silver breeze cavalry, because why not? Here he see he's hopped up on the fence to charge the rear of my iron guard, which I probably shouldn't have given him, but you know, mistake on my part. Um, over here, he charges the Greater Earth Elemental. Uh, in shooting, he uses his boomstick and finishes off these here rangers, which is a bummer. Um, he did bane chant these guys again, but uh, they just didn't roll that well, so he only got five points of damage on this Greater Earth Elemental. So he's good. Um, this rear charge did climb the fence, so it was hindered, but he still did enough to kill kill my Iron Guard, which is my bad. My bad, learn something, kids. Don't do that. Um, he does a couple points of damage, and he routes this ironclad troop, which, you know, again, you know, 
that's fine. They hold up a lot longer than I expected them to. And reforms. And then over here, yeah, he just does seven points of damage to my berserkers. He he didn't realize that they have a twenty-two unwaverable nerve, and he only has twelve attacks, so he's not getting through them in one turn. Um, so that's what it looks like. The end of elves turn five. So dwarves turn six. Sorry for the blurry picture, but I needed to show something. Um, I was able to triple charge the front of that sea guard unit. Now those um. Elementals had been surged far enough that they were within 10 inches of the sea guard. So the elementals, the berserker lord, and the great earth elemental go in. Um, in the middle here, we double charge with the ironclad and the iron guard into that silver beast cavalry. And on the left, of course, we counter charge with our berserkers. Um, just to really, really make sure we bane chant our uh, vicious earth elemental horde there. The organ gun didn't have anything better to do, so we shot at this mage, but didn't accomplish anything. Um, we go into combat, and you can see by the dice, we put a whole crap load of damage on the sea guard, and they are kaput. Um, bringing in the iron guard here helped cut these guys down really good. So they are kaput. And the final nail in the coffin, um, my berserkers, on top of, you know, they... I shot these guys a little bit too, help put enough damage on these palace guard, and they are kaput. So they kind of move up like that. Um, so if you're looking at their dwarfs turn six, this is the point uh, my opponent concedes. Um, he has essentially, at the current moment, no scoring units and basically no, no chance to win. So um, elves concede, which I said was fine. And well, I can't say it's fine. He was like, "Can I concede?" I was like, "Of course you can concede." There's like, I, what, "What do you mean? What, can I not let you concede?" All right. The dwarves were victorious. <clears throat> um, some general thoughts on the game. It was, it was, a, it was a really like all these things say like it, everything went my way. The scenario I would say was in my favor because I have a I have a mobile as mobile of a foot dwarf army as you can get. I, I don't have a lot of shooting. Uh, my intention is to walk forward in a good uniform manner, and well, invade makes that makes that pretty good. Um, I got a lot of stuff knocked off turn one, um, a lot of damage potential in those units, and they were gone. Um, and just the majority of things went my way. Um, I made my headstrongs when I really needed it. Um, things survives. Um, yeah, I, I overloaded a flank, and it paid off. Um, yeah, I, I I can't say too much about the game. It was, it, I mean, it was fun enough, but I just, yeah, I got really lucky, and everything just really played off to the strengths of my army. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, um, and we'll catch you next time.